Okay, got the valve cover off. Sorry about the last clip. <laughs> My battery died, so now I got it charged a little bit. After I worked a little while, and now we're losing the uh, losing the light. So, anyways, um, since this water pump just started failing, we've got fresh oil sludge. If I look down in here, grab my light. That's a milky, milky colored oil, as well as right there. And also, if I can get this thing back up here. You can see the timing chain is loose. Now this engine still runs. I had it running and uh, it ran great actually. But it um, seemed like it had a bit of a, a timing chain um, tick. Like a, like a little bit of a clattering sound. Just like that's loose in there. And that's because the primary tensioner, which is actually under this valve cover, is also screwed in right in the back behind the, just almost by the firewall there on this particular Sebring. Um, and that fails once you get water in the oil. So clearly as I showed over there in that little pocket, you can still see it there. So basically, um, I have to be pulling this uh, other valve cover off. And, and then, start pulling off under there taking that harmonic balancer off as well as the power steering um, a uh, belt and then I can unbolt my my um, oh my god I <laughs> the camshaft uh, sprocket sorry and uh, I can loosen off the timing chain and get it all all good to go. And basically I'm well on my way to getting this water pump changed and this has only been well I've been working at a really slow pace and really just looking at over a bunch of things and not really doing too much ripping apart. Um, and I put about five hours into this car but I mean I could have done this work in say two hours but I um, you know, I just bought this car, so I'm really just looking at it, you know, just to see what else is wrong. Now I come over to this valve cover, and you can really start to see that this car is really just starting to build up sludge. And, uh, just let me show you one more thing. I don't really want to bring this close by the, uh, the light that I have hanging down here, so I'll just bring it... Of course, I drop a bunch of shit, and uh, you can see that all of this is very fresh. It's all, you can see I'm making smear marks. Very fresh. So this water pump hasn't been leaking very long, because it's not caked on. Very easy to clean off. Well, it's still... Still sludge, eh? But gotta love your two sevens. This motor was is very close to failing if you were to just keep driving it. But I came just in the nick of time, and I'm saving this thing from blowing up. So we'll get her on the road again when I can afford to uh, order a new water pump, which will be sometime next week. In the meantime, I'm gonna get the rest of that crap off. Okay, we've got the oil pan off now, and uh, you can see all the uh, creamy colored stuff in there. You can see all the antifreeze that was in there, and uh, you can see all the sludge is starting to build up. And, uh, you know, that's not good for the oil pump, and that's why a lot of people see the, uh, the oil light on when they're driving. So you can also see the pickup tube which has got a little bit of antifreeze that's, that's kind of uh, stuck in it. 
it's not too bad but you know it's at the point where I would probably want to just change the oil pump while I'm down this far well, who the fuck is texting me now that was mommy <laughs> that was mommy never you you little barch he doesn't have his phone out so anyways Dumbass. cut this bottom part out now we have to get this uh, harmonic balancer off as well as the belts and also we have to there's a motor mount that's up there too we have to take off as well as we got the other valve cover off too but I mean I'm too lazy to lower it down just to show you guys so you know what it looks like anyways so here we've got the oil pump there's where the water pump is supposed to go and of course there's a um, sprocket on the end of it like on the water pump I actually have it removed and I'm not quite sure where I put it but it doesn't matter because I'm replacing it so basically if you're Sebring one way to tell or actually two ways to tell if you have oil sludge in your 2.7 is if you have a coolant leak that's coming from the front passenger side um, of your engine and it should be dripping off in this kind of area right here just by the very corner of the oil pan and if it is doing that coolant is leaking out of your water pump weep pole which is actually on the block right beside your thermostat housing which you have to remove your alternator and unbolt the mounting bolts for your AC compressor as well as taking off the mounting bracket that those two bolt onto so the water pump there's your weep hole right there that guy right there is comes off for the shaft and it leaks through there through the block and out there now this car was diagnosed as a cracked engine block near the thermostat housing the person that I bought this car off of believed this vehicle needed a new motor because the block was cracked and I bought this car with the intention of replacing the motor because I know that these engines are so shitty and I was gonna actually swap it up up to a bigger engine maybe a 3.2 or a 3.5 I'm not sure if those fit in the, in the Sebrings but I was beginning to do research but you know I thought I would check out this motor first so when I did um, there was coolant leaking out and I tore off a few things the alternator and the AC compressor and found out that it was only leaking out of the the weep pole which means it was just a water pump shaft seal that was gone bad and that's why this motor just began starting to get oil sludge now this motor isn't very bad because we caught it early and this car began overheating because of the lack of coolant and right away I never started this car I never drove it I literally ran this car for maybe five minutes since I bought it and there was no ticking, no knocking, no funny noises. So basically, this motor, um, well, if if you caught it early, all you'd have to do is do the water pump and the timing chain stuff. But because I don't really know the history of this car, and I didn't run it very long, a lot of people have problems with the oil light coming on. And sometimes people say it's a sensor, which, yes, it can be the oil pressure sensor. But... Also, when you do begin having oil sludge, this oil pickup tube, which is right here, can become clogged and damage your oil pump and starve, well, basically starve the oil pump from oil. So, I'm going to go ahead and replace this oil pump because I want this engine to last me a long time and I don't want to have to be pulling it apart again. So, basically, to do this kind of job, you'll have to remove your top valve covers which involves taking off the intake assembly now I have this car up on a hoist but I'm just gonna give you a basic look here so this is your valve cover when it's off and you can see it's got quad timing chains or um, quad cams you know two on each side of the motor 